Donna, uh, the title of the talk, Projecting Newton Maps of Entire Functions via the Exponential Map. Okay. Okay, thanks for the introduction. And thank you to the, to the organizer for giving me the opportunity to be here at the level. As, as Karim told, uh, said, I'm going to talk about the projection of some Newton maps of entire functions via, via the exponential map. So um, I, I'm going to focus on some transcendental maps uh, coming from entire function. I some transcendental Newton maps coming from entire functions. I will then consider the properties and benefits of projecting them via the exponential map. And then I finally I will present some simple ways to to build a one in domain by by the so-called logarithmic lift. So uh, first let, let me recall some basics of Newton maps. Uh, if we have an entire function f, a capital F, uh, then its corresponding Newton maps n is given by this form z minus f divided by f prime. So uh, it is uh, so the roots of the original function f get uh, translate to to attracting fixed point of the Newton map, uh, and they are indeed super attracting if the roots are, of the original function are simple. And finally, the critical points of, of F that are not fixed get uh, corresponds to poles of this Newton. And well, we can, you can find much more details in, in this reference. Um, for example, we have the Newton map of the sine function that corresponds to, to Z minus the tangent. And since the tangent is a pi periodic function, you get like a dynamical plane that is repeated in each strip of width pi. So it's kind of natural to consider uh, to do like the quotient by the translation by pi in order to consider that function in the cylinder. And here we can, we can see indeed that the Newton map uh, of the sign is a meromorph, a transcendental meromorphic map with infinitely many poles and critical points. So we are not in the usual finite or bounded type classes uh, or an irregular class. So we, we, we have to somehow get rid of, of this uh, sort of periodicity. And in that sense, uh, back in the eighties, Herman considered the, the complexification of the standard map given of the, of, by this form. And since the sign is a two pi, uh, two pi periodic function, he could project by an exponential of this type right here. yeah <laughs> and and then he gets a holomorphic cell map of the puncture disk and it will he, he used it to produce the the uh, herman rig for this uh the formorphism of the circle but uh, anyway the, here it, it, it was relevant in 1994 when Bert Weiler, uh, Formalized, like uh, gave a theorem that relates the the Fatou sets of these of these two of these two functions. So he, he said that the Fatou set of, of G, the projected function, is equal to the projection by the exponential of the original function, and the same applies to the to the Julia set. Uh, indeed, the, this procedure is very is very useful and. To produce many kinds of wandering domains and study this pro its properties, as was done by Berweiler it's, uh, himself and uh, also David and Anna, Vaso, Nuria, Phil, and Ripon, <laughs> I am, and Winnie uh, recently. And but we may ask which I mean which conditions should, should satisfy the, the function f to, to be projectable. So it's better to consider the diagram of semi-conjugacy. Uh, so we have a, a, a F and it gets projected by the exponential to, to G. So in order, I mean, since the exponential in that case, the, the usual exponential is two pi I periodic, we, we should, um, in order to have a well-defined G downstairs, the, the function F should satisfy that a point uh, z plus, I mean, applied to a point z plus two pi i is equal to the original uh, to f of z plus a multiple, an integer multiple of two pi i. So in that way, we this diagram commute 
it was defined and we call this kind of we may call this kind of function pseudo periodic uh, and in that case is uh, has a pseudo period pseudo period to pi i uh, but obviously we can also consider more general functions if we instead i mean here we have like um, periodicity like in in the vertical direction but we can consider any any kind of of, of direction of periodicity and then we should take care that we should consider that we need to project by our exponential of two pi i divided by this capital p time set in order to take advantage of of this periodicity so uh, here we consider an entire function but we also may ask what happens if we project meromorphic functions in in the same way so here we have to be careful with some 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 points of the of the projection for example if if we consider a, a a pole of the function upstairs then taking taking care of the semiconjuacy it, it will be projected to an essential singularity uh, since as we approach men, uh, different directions uh, as we approach to the pole in different directions we will, we will map, get mapped to different sides of the cylinder that will be clear later when we consider an example to make that more clear and also we have that the pre poles get mapped to kind of the essential poles that are just a pretty much of the essential singularity i mean it could be something finite not infinite uh, not the infinity as as usual for transcendental maps and and then uh, as it is a uh, semiconjuacy the critical points get mapped to critical points and also the periodic points get mapped to periodic points but maybe with a, a smaller fundamental period due to this semiconjuacy relation and well here we have to consider that uh, the essential i mean your orbits can be truncated and the essential singularity but then the second iterate uh, can be truncated at this at this essential poles so it's like this essential set gets uh, can get bigger and bigger and when its natural setting is the class k that was introduced by bolch um, uh, Baker, Dominguez, Herring, and, and, well, and studied by many others, uh, that, that consists of these uh, meromorphic functions outside a compact and countable set E, which is the closure, the closure of isolated singularities. Uh, here is worth mentioning that, uh, that in this class is closed under composition. And we also have the usual classification of periodic factor components in Interacting, parabolic, Siegel, these Herman rings, Bakers, and well, especially these one domains that we will focus. Okay, but I sorry, but we may ask how are related the the Julia sets or the Fatou sets of the the both functions that are semi-conjugated by the exponential. So this was answered by well, this was proved rigorously by Verweiler in 1990 five that he consider a nonlinear entire function uh, then uh, downstairs a holomorphic cell map and he proved that if they are semi conjugated by the exponential then the, uh, the logarithmic lift of this fatu set uh, of the fatu set of, a, of g is equal to the fatu set of f and the same applies to the julia set here uh, the logarithmic lift of the fatu set which which are the points that are well defined and normal in, in, in the neighborhood uh, is just this set here. So this was uh, a bit ex uh, extended by Seng in 2005 to include transcendental maps in, cla in class K uh, that we mentioned before. And well, the take home message here is that the logarithmic leaf or in the other way, the projection by an exponential map uh, preserves the dynamical partition of the complex plane. Uh, in order to get a better understanding of the uh, situation, we can consider a simple Newton map and its projection. So for example, here we have the Newton map of e to the z times one plus e to the z. Uh, and then we get a Newton map of this form, z minus some a simple Mobius recomposed by exponential. And 
the, we, we, we can see that this is a uh, kind of pseudo periodic function with to the period to pi i. So we, we will be able to project it. And the super, uh, and here we have that uh, some super attractive fixed point that corresponds to the zeros of the original function and are here marked in, in red. And are, they are pi i plus all the, uh, plus the, uh, it's translation by i multiple integer of two pi i. And they produce some bases of attraction that are colored in, in purple. And in, we also note that we have some poles at uh, the critical points of the original function f uh, that are a bit uh, a bit at the left of the of the of the fixed points we mentioned here are shown in 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 green and if if we if we, we can find in, in in for this function some special lines like here we have a vertical line that goes through through all the poles uh, that is orange, yeah. And then it gets mapped to a bit to, to the left by this Mobius. And, and then we also have some horizontal invariant horizontal lines in, in blue and and green. That I mean all of that uh, tell us that we have a Baker domain, a competitive Baker invariant Baker domain that contains the the left uh, the left half plane, and this basin are also of degree can are also of degree two, and here we can see the pre-poles uh, for that for that basin. And before talking about each projection, uh, it's worth to consider the the this function in the complex cylinder. So, for example, if we take a if we take two small petals that touch in the in the pole p naught then uh, it's it, 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 uh, the newton sends this small red petal to to the to the right to, well this is the opposite to the left le left hand side of the cylinder and there the dynamics are, are given the asymptotic dynamics are given by z minus one one half so it's kind of repelling and in the and in the other and in the other case for the blue petal it gets maps to the to the yeah to the right to, to the to the left hand side <laughs> yeah sorry to the left hand side marking blue where that's in that dynamics are given by z minus one so it's kind of attracting the this point minus infinity so now we can project this by the exponential, in that case, exponential of minus z, so that I, since the exponential is kind of is a local homomorphism, this I mean the shape of these petals are uh, kind of preserved, and then uh, on the other on the other part, uh, we have the 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 right part of the cylinder that maps to a neighborhood of the of the region that it it's clear that it is now repelling. And the other the other side gets mapped to infinity, which is an attracting point. So now we have converted the infinity and, and zero in in fixed points. So now that we have said that, uh, we can consider the actual projection by the exponential of minus z. And taking use of this semi-conjugacy relation, um, we can arrive to this expression of uh, uh, w exponential times i exponential of some obvious map and here it's taking use of the theorem by Verweiler the basins of attraction of this uh, um, super attracting fixed point get gets projected to basin of attraction of this minus one so now this will correspond to this uh, like fish like shape here and then the Baker domain since now, since now in the projection we, the infinity has turned on on a on a super uh, on a fixed on an attracting fixed point, we will have just a basin of attraction in for, for G. Uh, and here we have in minus two we have the projection of the pole, so the essential singularity. And in that way, if we zoom around here, we will get um, 
I mean, we will see with our uh, own eyes the how it looks and essentially so singularity in the plane somehow. And here we, we have some kind of tongues, and at the tip we have also some fixed points that are usually overlooked and they will be relevant later. So yeah, we may ask uh, if they have wandering domains and in order to rule out the existence of such wandering domains, we can, uh, we can consider the theorem by, by, by Christophe, Nuria, Xavi and Bogusha in, in 2020 that they, they take a topologically hyperbolic meromorphic map. That is that the Euclidean distance between the Julia set and the post-critical set is greater than zero. And you take a Fatou component U and you consider you, you suspend all the Fatou components that contain its forward uh, images. So then if UN uh, doesn't intersect uh, the post-critical set for, for all N, we have that the diameter of such Fatou components get bigger and bigger. So uh, this tells us that the wandering domains of such maps either contain post singular points or arbitrarily large disks. So here we go back to our Newton. We have these invariant lines that avoid the wandering domain to, to, to increase arbitrarily. So we can rule out the existence of them. And we have also control of the critical points. But on the other hand, we, we, also, we, we also know that the finite type functions have neither wandering domains nor Baker domains. Uh, so uh, in that case, we also, we, we, it can be shown that we, also, we only have two critical values and two asymptotic values. So it's of, it's of finite, I mean, it's a finite type. And we don't have one in domain, but uh, the only possible ones could come from the branches of the logarithm of this periodic, of the periodic Fatou components of G in a general setting. So in, 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 in that sense, uh, there is a, well, a simple way to, to build one in domains for such pseudo periodic functions. For example, in our case of the, in our fish like uh, Newton, like projected Newton, we have an attractive basin at minus one that corresponds to the, to the attracting basin of the, of the super attracting fixed points for the Newton. But if we, instead of consider uh, the Newton F, we consider uh, the Newton plus two pi i, then uh, it is clear that all the, I mean, all, all the fixed points now turn to, 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 I mean, now instead of fixed point, we have points that get to themselves plus two pi i and so on. So the, now this attracting basis get mapped to the next one, to the next one, and they have also some kind of memory. I mean, they will, uh, they will remember that they come from an attracting basis. So they, got, they get mapped closer and closer to, to these uh, red points. Uh, but an, 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 another way to, to construct such wandering is to what was done by Wolf and, and Rooker in 2006 for Newton maps of this form, like an exponential type with no zeros. But if you take the, the Newton and, and, you, and, and you project by the proper exponential, in the case, two pi, the exponential of two pi iz, you, you get also a, a g of that form, omega i omega times exponential of also a simple Mobius. And it can be shown that it has a, a fixed point at zero with multiplier e to the two pi i alpha. So if we take an alpha that is rational, we will have some parabolic petals uh, around zero that after doing this logarithmic leaf procedure, will will leave to, to an infinite collection of Fatou components each one in, in a periodic in the in this periodic strip of, of lens uh, one in that case. And then the, we will get a, 
a family of one day domains. Uh, it was also in, in a review by Rupert, they, he also mentioned that Bay Weiler, uh, von, von Hasler, von Peter, and, and all the co-authors uh, 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 use the same procedure to, to, to show that the Newton map uh, of, uh, of this form, which also corresponds to a function with, without zeros, it, it, it can be lived in that way to produce an infinity family of a family of one end domains. And so in, in, for, in, that, in that spirit, we, we, were, we were trying to construct uh, some wandering domains that come from Newtons uh, with, with, I mean, Hones Newtons that, 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 that come from, from function with zeros. And we can do that, for example, uh, generalizing the previous family of the fish, but in a more general setting. So if we take the Newton map of such function with infinitely many zeros, where M is the multiplicity of, the, of that zeros and relates to the parameter of, parameters of the Mobius in, in that way, that lambda minus mu is a natural number. So then we have a Newton given by Z minus the Mobius or by a, minus a Mobius precomposed by an exponential. And in fact, these are the, uh, these, these are functions in the Spicer class two that uh, Kui and Berweiler uh, introducing in, in their talks and have asymptotic values one over lambda and one over mu. It, since it has uh, it's kind of it has like pseudo period to pi i, we can project by the exponential as well uh, to get this this family i uh, this function g that is uh, omega times the exponential of a Mobius map, and for, for our purpose it's it will be we, we have to focus on the on the fixed point of the projection. Uh, that uh, as we saw before in the case of uh, in, of the cylinder, we have zero and infinity with the corresponding uh, multiplicities. But also we have this the things point that come from this equality that the exponential of the Mobius is equal to one. So the Mobius uh, at these points are an, int uh, an integer multiple of two pi i. Uh, and they can be expressed in such form in terms of the parameters mu and lambda of the Mobius. But the interesting thing here is that they correspond to the Newton, Newton maps, or I mean, they correspond to the points that get translated by two pi i or a multiple of two pi i uh, for the Newton. So we, we may call them pseudo periodic points. And this will be the key for, for constructing our, our one in domain. So if, if we change the multiplier of, of, of such as the periodic point, for example, for L equal one, uh, that is given by this form. And we take as in the example of the fish, we take a new equal minus one and M equal one, such that our original function has uh, infinitely many zeros, simple zeros. Then imposing for simplicity that the, this uh, pseudo periodic point is a uh, super attracting, uh, we can find a, 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 a parameter lambda given by this form, such that it give rise to another type of super attracting fixed point. Such that, such that the projection G has two type of of super attracting fixed points. And on one hand, we have the ones coming from the zeros of the function f that lead to super attracting basins uh, in purple as, as before. And then we, we have um, this, uh, this omega one star that leads to a change of one day in domains here in purple. So it, it kind of, we start with these small basins and that get mapped to each other until they end, they end up in this, in this big uh, FATU component and then they get translated down, down, down by two pi i. And as we said before, they, they recall, I mean, they, they remember that they come from a, 
the, the lift of a superattracting fixed point of G. So they kind of get closer to these to this uh, pseudo project points at, it, at each step. And in that way, we have kind of constructed an example of, of, new to, of a new of a one in domain for a new to with of a, coming from a function with zeros that is given by this, this simple form that z, z minus a Mobius precomposed with the exponential. And well, and in that way, we in that spirit, we we will try to apply also these these cases to tie also uh, other interesting classes or combine them with Baker domains or other or other interesting components. But uh, yeah, I think I stop here and thank you very much for your attention. Thanks, Robert. Uh, questions, uh, comments, please. Questions from uh, online participants. If not, uh, thanks uh, to speaker again. Ah, okay. Questions. Just curious, what if do you think you could adjust this multiplier to be whatever like for example also a seagull disk or something like that and yeah yeah that's that, true that you can i mean you, you can impose that this uh, pseudo project point is whatever like e to the two pi i al alpha in, in order to produce parabolic basins or or seagulls but then it's more i mean more difficult to to have a picture of them because you mm -hmm. there are some computational problems that it could be used this procedure. Thank you. More questions, please? If not, uh, thanks to speaker again.